Good evening. A big shakeup at a major university after hearings last week on Capitol Hill led by Congresswoman Elise Stefanik. Stefanik saying tonight one down and two more to go. Let's get an explanation as to what's going on. 7 News Sporter Zach Grady live in studio. Zach. Jeff, this all stems from last week's congressional hearing about anti-Semitism on college campuses. Three Ivy League presidents have come under fire. One has now stepped down. And as for what Stefanik is saying, her allies, like former President Donald Trump, are supporting it, while others across the aisle are calling her a hypocrite. It's a context-dependent decision. That's your testimony today. Calling for the genocide of Jews is depending upon the context. That is not bullying or harassment. This is the easiest question to answer yes, Ms. McGill. Congresswoman Stefana questioned three university presidents from Harvard, the University of Pennsylvania, and MIT in a showdown last week. The hearing held over a rise of anti-Semitism and Islamophobia on college campuses. Stefanik leading the way with constant questions and criticism at the hearing. Does that speech not call for the genocide of Jews and the elimination of Israel? When you that testify that you understand that is the def definition of intifada. On Saturday, Pennsylvania President Liz McGill resigned. Stefanik took to X, formerly known as Twitter, saying, quote, addressing the pervasive rot of anti-Semitism that has destroyed the most prestigious higher education institutions in America. One down, two to go. Stefanik's performance is getting praise from her allies. Elise. Thank you, Elise. What a job she's done. You know, I watched the way she's very smart. I watched the way she was asking the questions, and they were asked in a very complex way. And these women, who I guess are smart, but boy, that was... They were really dumb answers, weren't they? While those on the other side of the aisle are pushing back, both against the congresswoman and the former president. Maryland Democratic Congressman Jamie Raskin questioned Stefanik's interrogation of the university president, asking on MSNBC programming Sunday how Stefanik can get off lecturing anyone about anti-Semitism when she's the biggest supporter of Donald Trump, who traffics in anti-Semitism all the time. Stefanik doubled down on her post Monday, releasing a statement demanding the dismissal of the Harvard and MIT presidents. The congresswoman was also parodied over the weekend as part of NBC's Saturday Night Live. Stefanik's office said she did not watch the skit, but said, quote, SNL made history with the worst cold open ever because everyone knows there is absolutely no humor in the vile answers from the university presidents. Jeff. Zach Grady, thank you.